Hello everyone and welcome back to another Wizard 101 video. Wow, that was a little bit dramatic. Calm down there. So, for the last like six months or so, and I know that this is going to sound dramatic, for the, but for the last six months or so, I have been getting a comment over and over and over again. And that comment is, where did you get your fire's rope? Now, obviously, I'm not annoyed by it, considering I just need to answer with one sentence, but I figured that I would go over my two most popular stitches today, where to get them, how to get them, and then I figured I would kind of go over where I followed for most of my wizards to actually get my stitch. Obviously, my fire is a bit of a unique case because I just threw together, like, a completely random set of items that I had just lying around, but I figured that I would go over them today, show you kind of how to get them and whatever. So without further ado, with enough rambling, let's get into it. So we're going to start with my fire stitch because this is the question I get literally all the time. But let's start off with the hat. Basically, the hat is the branded chapeau, which is the elegant fire style hat. You can obviously get it from Gerald in Elephant Graveyard and Starburst, Spider in Mirror Lake, but you can also buy it for crowns. And then the ultimate power play would be to actually get the cheap one that you can farm for much easier from, I believe it's Yokai in the Tree of Life. Really easy to get. He's just a side boss in the Tree of Life, only has a few thousand health. And you can get a, you know, a not 9,000 crown one or one that's a little bit more difficult to farm and has a bit lower of a drop rate. So that is the easiest way to get the Fire Elegant hat. But what you really came here for was my robe, I'm assuming, considering everyone asks that. What robe is it first off? First off, it's the Atlantean Trident Armor. Now, what this is from is this is from the Atlantean Bundle. Now, the Atlantean Bundle was a $29.99 bundle that was floating around years ago. And to kind of put it into perspective, if you can see, this is the level 80 version of it. And level 80, when my fire was level 80, that was probably about 2013, 2014. So that means I got this robe about eight years ago. And I don't know exactly how often the bundle still kind of floats back into the store, but I can tell you it's probably not very often. So your actual chances of getting this robe are very low. But if you see the Atlantean bundle in the store, obviously make sure to snag it if you do want my robe's look before it leaves. You can see here when you press the find button, this item is currently unavailable and it has been unavailable for a while. I don't know when it's going to be available again, but it hasn't been in a while and I don't know exactly when it will be. As for the boots, this is another funny one. This is the Spiral Cup boots from the Spiral Cup bundle, which is basically the bundle that gives the Spiral Cup gauntlet. I got this you can see I got level 50, but I probably didn't actually get it at level 50. I probably got it more towards level 100, 120 or so. Um, I definitely got this a few years ago, like at least six years ago plus. And it's funny because the Spiral Cup boots and the Atlantean robe, I just found laying around in my bank. Like it wasn't like I bought the bundle specifically and immediately stitched. It was like two or three years ago, I found these in my bank and I went, okay, these are kind of sick put them together makes a really sick stitch my fire stitch is pretty unique and then finally for the wand i just have the caramel wand because i think it really matches the stitch pretty well so ultimately to wrap up my fire stitch can you get most of it probably not my fire stitch is so unique to the point where you can't even get most of the items anymore will they probably float around back into the so the store at some point yes that is likely what's going to happen so if you see them make sure to snag them up if you want my fire stitch otherwise it's going to go obviously then i have the elegant hat which is that now as for my death I have the Death Elegant Hat, which I don't actually know if there's any easy way to get. I might have just bought it from the crown shop, but I'll check later on in this video when I kind of show you the main way where I get everything. But the robe and the boots. The robe and the boots are funny because they're actually incredibly easy to get. So I'm going to show you how I got them right now. Prepare to be astonished. So first off, I came over here to the level 45 Dragon Spire robes, and wow, would you look at that. You can see I, I can't have the color specifically because you can't dye it purple in the bazaar, but there you go. Uh, you can go to the dye shop afterwards and dye it purple like I did. That's the robe. Obviously, there's actually a few robes that look like that. That's not the only one. You can see there's another one here, the Reaper's Raiment. There's a hundred in the bazaar. 
really easy robe to get. As for the boots, okay, it looks like they don't actually have them in the bazaar. If I go, if I sort by this though, and look at the level 20 to 25 items, I'll probably find a copy of them. Yeah, this is this is them right here. There you go. There's my death boots. Uh, really easy to find, super easy to get. And then obviously the staff is also the caramel wand. So that's two of my stitches right there. Really easy, really easy to get. Obviously I have a lot more stitches, but I will kind of wrap them up in this final section of video where you can get a lot of stuff. So let's get into it. So this right here, I'm gonna leave this in the description below, is the Final Bastion Guide to School Design Gear. I have followed this for a very, very long time, and trust me, it's a really nice way to get some cool stitches and stitch sets. So basically, if you've seen, obviously my fire had the fire elegant hat, my death had the death elegant hat, so I come here to the elegant section, you can see fire, I got it from Yokai. I mean, I think specifically I got it from the Starburst Spiders in Mirror Lake, but you can also get it from Yokai. And then for death, you can get it from Oak Heart, or you can get it uh, from the Bazaar or dropped by the Aether Elemental. So you can see here for death, you can actually get it from Oakheart in the Village of Sorrow, which I think is actually where I got it because I don't think I got it from the Aether Elemental. But basically, you can see here a really, really good way to get stitches. Now, obviously, beyond the Elegant set, there are a ton of school design sets you can see here that you can mix and match and create cool and unique stitches with. For example, my balance for my balance Let's Play series used the Jester Robe, which is actually one of my favorite robes in this game. So you can see I came here to Balance and Jester Robe. It's dropped from Muggsy, but I believe I bought it from the Bazaar. Really easy to get. I got the Jester's Robe, and then I got the Whimsical Boots, because I think the Whimsical Boots are really, really cool. So I came here to Balance, got Meowie Artie's Polish Boots. I Actually, I think I got the Sandals of Civility um, dropped by... Timmy Ice Pick, but also you can just buy them from the bazaar. Really, really easy. And then finally, I got the Balance Elegant Hat, which, you know, I, I said earlier, pretty easy to get. I think I might have bought it from the Crown Shop because I was lazy, but you can obviously get it from the Spectral Guardians in Mirror Lake. So follow this guide if you want it's not really a guide but follow this kind of guide thing to get different sets of gear you can see there's so many different hat robes and boots combinations that you can do they look really really cool so if any of this interests you literally any of this like hat robe and boot wise come to this site and then look for your type of school and kind of find what's happening because you can see if I close the window, you can see here multiple of my wizards follow this. Like my fire, for example, you can see has the elegant hat, has the daredevil robe, and it has the whimsical boots. My ice, you can see, has the elegant hat, the daredevil robe, and the elegant boots. Basically, I just mitch match a lot of this gear and form some pretty cool stitches, in my opinion. Like, my ice stitch looks pretty cool, you know? It at least looks decent, which is better than nothing. So really easy way to get stitches just follow that guide but that is it for today that's all i really wanted to kind of go over my stitches followed by an easy way to get stitches because i know that some people kind of struggle to come up with some unique and cool stitches in this game and if you really can't then that's just an easy way to get some stitches so that's it for today if you enjoyed if you found this useful make sure to drop a like hit the sub button go support me financially on patreon and join my discord server but otherwise that is it Thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Adios.